Just about set for football. Blake Groupie is ready to get us started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. Every time he leads his team out, there's no questioning. He's put the work in to earn his place in the NFL. There's no shortage of stories we've heard throughout his career about the effort he puts in to be in this spot. And that motivates everybody on his team. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. We talk all the time about playmakers on offense, but let's face it, there are plenty of playmakers on defense, too. I think we just saw an example of one, didn't we? Not force that incompletion. Yeah, he's a great corner. They got a couple of them on that side of the football. To throw on third down. Penn. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. And now the ball's out, fumble near midfield. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is. They're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground. Does the big boy have the juice? And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, you know you don't want to make a mistake in that area, so you make sure you make a smart throw. Throw it out towards the sidelines. If you overshoot your guy, so be it. It's just the incompletion that we saw there. Over the middle, complete. It's Smith. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys are on the board first here this afternoon. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Bringing them out is one of the most exciting players in the NFL every season. A former MVP. It's Lamar Jackson. Early part of his career, defenses really had to focus on his running ability, and they still do. But now, he's turned himself into a true dual-threat quarterback. When he plants his cleats in the ground and turns it loose, good things happen downfield. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. I absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. They're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. And partner, to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. 
second down, and this one incomplete as well. Anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try to hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. And the tight end goes in motion left. Play action. Now Jackson going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown. DK Metcalf, 57 yards. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. But Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. And it's caught. He's got it. So they go for two. They convert, and along with it, they'll take an 8-7 lead. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown. Now their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Operating from the gun. Pin. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Here's a second down and seven from the 37. Smith will come in motion right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And this is not going to work as planned. He's going to be met and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you come around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not, well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. And a find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But I believe a Cowboy was there to get it. He was, and Dallas will maintain possession. To throw on second down. Pin. And incomplete here. So a little razzle-dazzle on that one. But they couldn't hook up, and it's third down. Had an open man that time. They end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Operating from the gun. Pin. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looking to throw. Pin. 
And it's caught on the right side at Smith. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 25 yards there on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And this thing is blown up defensively. They will not get a throw off on the trick play, and that'll go down as a sack. They overload him that time with a safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? Santos' kick is up and through, and they stay claim to the lead here. It's 10-8. to eight. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That's about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays, and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Back out comes this offense now, late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. In motion comes the tight end left. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. There is something to a game plan when trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Play action. It's Jackson. And that went to the right side and incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. A very quick pass to Ridley. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. In motion goes the tight end. They go play action now. Jackson. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Play action is supposed to be used to slow down pressure, slow down blitzes. In this case, though, it takes a little too long to develop. You got people right in your face. And lucky just to get rid of the ball with the arm going forward. Could have been a fumble. They go play action with Jackson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. On third down, Jackson. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They'll send the tight end in motion left. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. 
He'll fire a desperation throw for the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown. DK Metcalf in the final seconds of the first half as his guys are able to regain the lead. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. will stay out there. They're going to line up and try for two. Jackson here is going to look to throw. And he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. So a sack on the two-point try. Well, split the difference, and they're right where they would have been with two PATs. They got the two-point conversion the first time. They failed there. Interesting, isn't it? Because the first time you go after your first score, that feels like a gamble. The second time when they tried it again, that felt like, what the heck, right? Because, as you said, even if you miss it, you split the difference, and you're right on schedule at 14 points. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a terrific first half from the dual threat quarterback, Lamar Jackson. He fired his guys into the lead with two first half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine and in the first half. And we back play. live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. Get a look at DK Metcalf as this offense returns to the field. Not a bad day at the office there. Maybe he would like the catch number to go up a little bit, but I think most guys would say two catches, two touchdowns, eh, that's okay. I think if the catch number goes up, we start talking about the record books because at that pace, this type of efficiency, oh yeah, I think I'd throw it to him. Taking it right down Broadway. He's on his way. Touchdown. Josh Jacobs. 77 yards as his guys are able to extend their lead. They've done a good job of holding him down in the first half, but he explodes for a big one right there. Yeah, I've got an image in my head of him being surrounded by a bunch of people, really, with ropes and other things trying to keep him locked in. But eventually they got tired, too. And just as you noted, he broke out. And it's a guy that usually you can only keep down for so long. They'll try and throw for it. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us. Because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wondered maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. On first down, Penn, throw that side complete. Brad Smith, and he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but if the other team doesn't get it, 
That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. and turning it over to their offense. That could be a little bit deflating. Exactly right. A lost opportunity. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open. And no, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Back to throw. Pin. And incomplete here. So a little razzle-dazzle on that one. But they couldn't hook up, and it's third down. But when the running game's not working, sometimes you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. On third down, pin. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Let's go now. Looking to throw. Pin. This will go to Henry out wide. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31 yard line. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. Here now, second and four. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. That is caught by Lynn. Touchdown, Cowboys! C.D. Lamb, 31 yards. And the Cowboys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Santos with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all of their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. You think we're just going to run it three times and punt it? You got another thing coming. Yeah, I mean, by the way, also the two minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he's got a first down following a pickup of about 13 as we will take a pause here for the two-minute warning. 116 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Pass the 20. <laughs> Josh Jacobs with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Bottom line, when you play a runner with these talents, you've got to be able to wrap up and get him on the ground. Or the first person who gets there, hold him up long enough for the next wave to get there and get him down. Otherwise, 
He will continue downfield and find pay dirt. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Throwing now is Jackson. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So they go with a pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational. You have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. So now the Cowboys down by 11, a little under a minute 50 remaining. They need a touchdown with a two-point conversion and a field goal in either order as they've got it first down. And that one goes incomplete. They tried something out of the bag of tricks, but it's incomplete and now second down. Well, it's pretty difficult to sum it up offense in a two-minute drill when your guys have struggled to put points on the board all afternoon. There's an incompletion right there. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And incomplete here. So a little razzle-dazzle on that one. But they couldn't hook up, and it's third down. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, but this game's over. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. Here we go, Jack. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And now the football is going to go over, already being placed at the 15-yard line. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. Jackson's going to throw it. And it's caught. Touchdown. Calvin Ridley. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Well, this, of course, set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down. And now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach. And it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know you've got to make something happen. They couldn't pick up the first down. And after that, the air just went right out of the balloon. And you knew you were looking at a defeated team. The offense going to stay on the field as they will line up and go for two. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. And of course, on the two-point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there, and it works. Felt pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver, ball's put on him, two points for them. Out of the end zone comes Smith. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points Ready? on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, and there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they block. Oh, a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. They'll look to throw again. 
It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll take this from one forty-seven yard line to the other. A gain of six. Left side to Lamb. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Again, he'll drop to throw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. It sort of looks like they stopped some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Now a second and ten. Back to throw again. And incomplete here. So a little razzle-dazzle on that one. But they couldn't hook up, and it's third down. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high-percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. One final shot. They'll look to throw. One last shot at the end zone. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brand, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. This has been Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Join the discussion on Twitter at EA Sports underscore M-U-T. And with that, we sign off from Miami.